Hey everyone, today I have a review of this Donna DDP-80 piano. Donna have sent it to me and asked if I would do a review and provide my thoughts on it. I have not been paid for the review, although Donna has said that I can keep the piano and use it if I wanted to. However, everything I say and comment on are my honest opinions about it. The first thing to say about the Donna DDP-80 piano is that it's obviously a digital piano, not an acoustic piano like my Yamaha Grand Piano that I have. Some of you already know that I have another Donna digital piano, the DDP-100, and I use that for my piano tutorials where I have the camera above it, and it films my hands and I can capture the MIDI output to make those videos. So the obvious question is, what's the difference between the two Donna digital pianos? Well, the most obvious one is looks. That one is more of a normal digital piano look, with the fixed stand and sides that you normally see, and the DDP-80 is more stylish, and stands out more as something that just looks nicer. My dad calls it arty. It may be personal choice, but depending on the look you want, it, this would fit in quite nicely in your house and your decor. The piano frame is wooden, but the legs are actually metal, with a wood effect on the top, and the legs are simply attached with screws at the bottom. It's actually quite easy to put together, and even though it's meant to be a digital piano that is set up at home, it can actually be used as a portable digital piano, because all you need to do is unscrew the four legs, and you can take it in a keyboard case. Actually, if you've seen in some of my videos, you will have seen that I've already used a DDP-80 piano in an event just like that. My dad took the legs off and we put it in a big keyboard bag and set it up at the event. I think the look of the piano really does work for an event like that. So the piano is a full 88 keys, like a proper size piano, and Donna market it as a beginner and hobby digital piano, which is pretty much what it is, but it has features that is much more than a beginner would use. One thing to look for digital pianos are the weighting on the keys. This one has fully weighted keys. Actually, they are also hammer weighted, so the bass keys are slightly heavier than the treble keys, which is what you get on a real acoustic piano. So it's good that you get more of a natural feel on an acoustic piano compared to a standard full weighted keys, which feel the same across the whole range, or semi weighted keys which are much lighter. The keys also have a matte finish with a nice texture for fingers, and they don't get slippery, which can happen on gloss finish ones. Here's a bit of I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. So that's what it sounds like. There's two speakers under the piano with both 20 watts, which is more than loud enough. But if you want to plug it into an external amp or feed it into an audio system, which is what we did at the event. Well, the good thing about digital pianos is that you can plug in headphones so that you can play or practice without disturbing anyone. Uh, this only has an acoustic grand sound and it uses Donna's dream sound source, which has 128 polyphony. Basically, polyphony is how many sounds you can play at the same time. 128 is pretty much as high as you need, especially if you are playing anything complex with sustain, so this will be capable of doing that. I played over an hour at the event, and definitely did not have any problems with playing any of my covers on it. You also get a proper Grand Piano 3 pedal setup with this piano, which you don't get with some basic digital pianos, uh, and actually in some real acoustic upright pianos as well. On most pianos, the left is soft, the right is sustain, and on Grand Pianos, the middle pedal is the Sostenito pedal. The sostenuto is like a sustain pedal, but only sustains the notes that are pressed when you um, press the pedal. Most uprights don't have that, but have something called a practice pedal, which is just a permanent soft pedal to quieten it down. I actually only used the sostenuto pedal when I was doing grade 8 diploma, so it's definitely not something a beginner would use. This piano also has the MIDI connectors at the back, like the other Donna piano that I used to create for my tutorials. Basically that means you can plug it into a computer, iPad, tablet, or something like that. So you can create your own music in something like Logic Pro or Cubase, or even create the same tutorial videos like I do. So what do I think of the DDP-80 piano? I think it's great. I know Donna marketed it as a beginner's digital piano, but you have seen me use it at a professional event where I play for guests. I used it because I wanted to test it out, but mainly because the piano looks nice. Of course, if it did not sound nice as well, then I would not have used it. It's hammer weighted with 120 polyphony and the full three pedals that I would expect from a grand piano. All you need, really. For a beginner's piano, it's great. Also, for someone who wants to continue to play piano but doesn't have the space for a large piano or need it to be quiet because of neighbours. 
Right now, it's around £460 on Amazon, so it's actually really good value for what I would call a proper digital piano and not a toy, especially if you want a digital piano that looks different from the normal ones like the DDP100. Actually, for me, there's very little difference between the DDP100 and the DDP80. Both are very good and actually are both priced around the same. I think the biggest recommendation I can give on this is what I would be doing with this piano, because obviously I have a grand piano over there, and I also already have the DDP100 I use for tutorials. Well, I'll actually be using this as a portable digital piano. I know Donna don't really market it as that. Actually, I know they don't, because I asked Donna if they had a keyboard case for it, and they don't. But actually, it's really easy to take the legs off, and then as long as I get um, a separate keyboard case for it, then it's actually not that heavy to take around. The legs are easier to carry than the keyboard stand, and all it needs um, is to be screwed in, and it's all set up, and looks really nice. So that's my review of the Donna DDP80 Digital Piano. Check the description for links, details, and a discount code. Thank you for Donna for sending this to me for review. Um, please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.